I feel about the Gen 3 Hayabusa after one year of ownership and should you buy one let's talk about it one year of ownership uh, I can't go left right here damn and there's no other ways that I can go can I cut through that department right there and get out nope oh well I really want to go that way man I just busted you right here anyway before we get started with our topic of conversation what's up bro how y'all been Y'all all right? First thing I want to touch on is I threw away my World Rock Atlas helmet. Threw it in the trash this morning. Uh, what's up, brother? Um, everybody out on that bike today. Beautiful time, man. It's a perfect time to be riding. But uh, So I trashed my World Rock Atlas 4.0 helmet. That's the helmet that I was actually doing my moto vlogging in for a while. I started off doing my vlogging not started off, but for a long time I was using the helmet that I have now, it's the Shoei R 1400. I was doing my vlogs in this. And then uh, I went and got the Royal Rock Atlas 4.0 and I started doing my vlogs in that helmet because I loved the fact that it had a lot of room, of extra room around the mouth area. However, that Royal Rock Atlas lets in a hell of a lot of wind, a ton of wind. So when I was going back and editing and looking at my uh, footage, it was just a lot of wind noise and I didn't really like the way it sounded. And I'm really, really, I'm a stickler. I want to make sure I, you know, oops, damn, I'm about to go straight through the stop sign. I'm bugging. Start talking to y'all, man, and I'm just out here about to do some more wild shit. But, um, yeah, the Robot Atlas, wasn't ideal for me for vlogging. It just let in way too much wind noise. And when I would go back and do my editing, and I would just, when I'm riding, I'm like, dude, it's just, I just hear wind. And I didn't like it. So I finally said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead back and uh, do my vlogs with my Shoei R 1400. <laughs> so in this video, I'm back to vlogging with my Shoei R 1400. Uh -huh. Oh, don't wanna do that. And, um, <laughs> Y'all should be able to hear a significant difference in sound quality. You may still hear some wind, obviously, but nothing like it was sounding like when I was using my Roar Rock. Anyway, one year of ownership with a Gen 3 Hayabusa. What is it like? Do I still like it? How do I feel about it? Well, that is a, honestly, that's a really loaded question. But I got the answers for you. Dude, I've never been out this way. Uh, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I definitely ain't stopping on some damn train tracks. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. You know what, fuck this. I'm going out this way. So, to simply answer the question is, do I still like my Gen 3 Hayabusa after one year? Short, quick answer is honestly, no. Now, let me explain. Let me explain. This bike is it's a really nice bike. Really cool. It has decent power. It handles like a dream for being the size that it is. As more time has passed, I begin to see a lot more third-party support. This bike is a, it's a really, really decent machine. Now, if you pay attention closely to what I said, it's a decent machine. I'm not saying it's a great machine because, in my opinion, it is not a great machine. And that's just a personal opinion. Some people may love this bike. And I do love the bike. No. I no longer love the bike. Now I just like this bike. 
So it's a difference. I mean, you can like your girl or like your wife and not love her. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm on a, where in the world am I at? Why am I? I'm lost. I'm totally lost. Dude, I don't know where I'm at, y'all. But, who cares? We just gonna keep on riding and talking. But, uh, so this bike, it is a very, uh, it's a, it's a decent bike. But I'm just walking this thing. I just ran a red light. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> this is bad. Sorry. So this, the thing is, the, thing, the problem I have with this bike is number one, the looks. I'm still not a super big fan of the way it looks. Yes, it does look better than its predecessor or predecessors. The Gen 1 and the Gen 2, those were horrific in the way they look. Now, this Gen 3 does look a lot better than those, yes. But that doesn't mean that this bike is still the best looking bike. It definitely still looks better than the damn ZX-14. I'll tell you that much. That ZX-14 is ugly as hell. But the ZX-14 has more power than this as well. I think even on a dyno, after the flash, it produced more power. Which brings me to another point or problem that I have with this bike. For the cost of it being $18,000, it should, uh, I think it should have more power. I don't see, I understand why they came out with a, a newer bike but had less power. They had to meet the Euro 5 emission standards or whatever, which I think is fucking gay or stupid. But uh, I think they should have probably made this bike a 1500cc with more power for sure. Definitely more power. Also, maybe it should have had some uh, self-canceling turn signals. I'm just saying for the price of this bike, I feel like it lacks a lot. I'm gonna back up a little bit, but getting back to the looks, I just think, uh, I don't really like the way it looks. I hate the tail section still. Yes, it looks better than the old ones, like I said before. Front definitely looks better, but the tail I hate. I think for how fat the tail section is on this bike, it should come stock with a fat tire. But I do know why they don't come with the fatter tire as well, obviously for, because it won't handle right. But I'm just saying, aesthetically, it's just things they should have did differently, I believe. But I get it. The manufacturers have the bikes made the way they do for performance and for the way it handles. And I find myself, like this bike, every time I look at it, sometimes I look at it, I'm like, damn, I like the way it looks. And then other times I'm like, damn, nah, this is alright. And so I found myself just constantly buying shit because I'm trying to improve the way my bike looks. So I like it more. And I've never had to do that on no other bikes. Never. I shouldn't have to keep having to buy this and buy that because I think my bike is ugly and I want it to look more appeasing or pleasing to my eyes. I've never felt like that about a motorcycle until this one. This, like I said, this bike is decent. The thing is, it doesn't do anything in particular really good. It's a bike. If y'all don't remember, I used to have a 2021 Jixxon 1000 R. I had the 100th anniversary edition. And I loved that bike. That bike rode like a dream. Quick and fast, good mid, good low mid. Not so much great high in range, but for low and mid, that bike was amazing. And it looked good too. Well, this damn Hayabusa pretty much reminds me of my Jixa, but without the power. What I'm saying is this bike reminds me of like a big ass Jixa. That's what it feels like. That's what it sounds like. The engine even sounds similar. So I just feel like this bike really lacks character. It doesn't do anything special that stands out. Now, I got two homeboys that got Gen 3 boosters. They love them to death. Matter of fact, my one homeboy will argue with me to the end of the damn day saying that boosters are faster, the fastest bike. Uh, obviously, we know it's not faster than a H2. 
but he tries to compare like, bro, this boost is faster than your old R1, man. Your boost is faster. I'm like, bro, no, it is not. I know, because I've owned them both. <laughs> this bike, is it fast? Yes. Do I get the best of both worlds of speed, handling, and comfort? Yes. But it still feels like it's missing something. I don't get that I feel special feel when I'm riding this bike. It just, it's missing something. I can't pinpoint it, but this bike is missing something. Like I said, the bike rides well, really well. But like I said, it just does nothing special. It's just a bike. When I had my R1, every time I got on that bike, it was just like, ah. Uh, every time I looked at that bike, I really didn't have to look at it and be like, you know what? Now I need to add this and add this because I just, it's just something, I don't like it. Shit, that bike is just beautiful stock. The Jixxers is beautiful stock besides the big ass stock cans that comes on them. So, the truth is, I'm not really happy with this bike anymore. And I find myself, I keep buying shit, like I said, to make me want to like it more. This video is my opinion, it's subjective. I totally, I totally get that, I get it. Hey, to any of my other Gen 3 Booster owners, do y'all feel the same way? That I feel? Or is it just me? I guess I'm the crazy one in the room, right? I highly doubt it. With that being said, would I recommend someone to buy this bike? I'm going to say no, I wouldn't. You'll get bored. It really lacks character. It doesn't do anything special per se. It does a lot of things good, but it doesn't do anything special. What stand out is to make you just want to be like, I got to have this bike. And that's unless you want to go get it like turbo and get a hyper booster like more mafia and spend $35,000, $50,000 to get that done. At that point, you could have bought three of these. Matter of fact, you could have bought three or four. Man, you could have bought an R1M. Shit, fuck. You could have been in, bought a Ninja H2 and just, at least that bike may not be the prettiest, but that thing got bells and whistles and it performs like a dream. What the hell are you doing? I am not sitting behind you. I'm not doing it. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> It's all right. She waved her hand like, hey, it's okay. She's older. Hey, we got to love our uh, elderly, y'all. We'll all be there one day, so we have to definitely cherish and uh, respect them. I'm sorry, y'all, but I just can't recommend anyone to buy this bike. Except for one exception, or two exceptions. That you're like six foot taller and above because the bike fits people like myself really good it fits that's one of the that's one of the pros i left out the bike is very comfortable like for my size this bike is the perfect size so if you're six foot or taller and maybe 220 pounds or more i would definitely say uh you may want to look at getting a higher booster or a zx14 they'll fit your body really well i know monkey butt he loves his booster he'd be doing cross-country trips and everything I'm just not, no longer really infatuated with this bike. And I've never felt like this about any bike that I had. And the only reason I got this bike, when I got it was because I've had so many bikes. Y'all remember this, y'all know this. I've had so many bikes and I wanted to try something totally different and totally new that I never had before. So when I finally noticed they changed the body style for the Gen 3s, I was like, you know what? Now may be the time for me to go ahead and get a higher booster. So that's what I did. I loved it for a long time. But as time has gone on more and more, and I'm just like, uh, I think I should probably go back to just getting a leader bike or a Ninja H2 or something. Because this is just this bike is just no longer doing it for me. It's Hey, don't be talking shit, y'all. So I'm, uh, when you sit here saying hey, nobody should buy the bike, but look at you out here having hella fun on it. I'm not saying I don't have fun on it. 
I'm just saying I don't have fun on it every time I'm riding it. I'm not like itching to get on my bike every day to go ride it like normal. That's all I'm saying. Look, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please bang that subscribe button. Please don't be like the other 62.7% of motherfuckers I got viewing my videos that have not yet subscribed. Alright? And we'll be in touch. Salute.